Hey everyone, Kelly Chassie here from Kelly Chassie Fine Art and questions. I get a lot of questions and one of the big ones is what's the difference between blending solution, alcohol, and making your own blending solution. So I've gone ahead and did a quick little demo for you. I'm using some watermelon here and I'm just putting a little drop down and we're going to go ahead and try the alcohol ink blending solution to start. So we'll go ahead and give this a squirt and you will see that it starts to reactivate the inks almost immediately and it does tend to bloom. You can see a little bit of staining in here, but the alcohol ink blending solution does take a little bit longer to dry and it does have a little bit softer spread here. But you still can see where my initial spot of ink was put. So let's go ahead and try this again. This time we'll just use the 91% alcohol, just straight out of the bottle. I do have a squirter that I'm going to use to squirt this. And you can see I have a little bit of a spray on there and it did hit the other one that I had done. <laughs> but we'll take the airbrush to this and you can see this is blending quite well. It's really spreading. It's lightening a little bit more. And I do have a lot of alcohol on here but you can see that this is going to dry fairly quickly, more quickly than what the blending solution does. And you can see that initial spot a little bit more. So it tends to stain a little bit more. It didn't quite lift like the blending solution did, but I can thin this out much more so I can get a lot, a lot more lighter looking shade using just the pure alcohol. So let's go ahead and try mixing our own blending solution. So I'm going to pour in maybe about a quarter cup of, of uh, alcohol 91% and we're going to give this about three squirts of the glycerin and we're going to mix that up really well. Let's do another one more squirt. It's the ratio usually when I did my pens, I filled my pen up and then put one, one drop of it. So you might have to play with this and see what works for you. Sometimes if you get the glycerin too heavy, you'll get like these little dots of uh, almost looks like moisture, but they're sticky. So it means you have too much glycerin in there if, if you get that. So I've got a little squirter here. Let's go ahead and squirt this on. Gives a nice blooming effect here. Let's try to blow this around. And it moves very similar to what the pure alcohol did, but it looks like it blends just a little softer where I put that initial um, drop of ink. So it, it kind of did both. It did the um, nice smooth blending and then it also did that lightening out to the edges here. Let's put one more drop down here and see if we can reactivate this down on the bottom. And so you can see where it's kind of moving that around, but it's still quite light here. So that gives you that nice soft edge. I know a few of you have uh, seen some, um, some artists online that have done that really soft looking kind of pattern that comes out from the edge and they're wondering how they get that real soft look. And I think this is how they're doing it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you the rest of my painting that I did. This one is um, with watermelon, I believe, and slate is what I started with. And you'll see here, I'm just kind of taking the airbrush, blowing things around, adding alcohol. I'm trying all three different things here. I didn't use the blending solution. This is basically just straight alcohol or my homemade blending solution that I made. So you can see where I have a few of those little drops in here. We'll go ahead and spread those out. And I'm adding a little bit of snow cap to this and actually spreading that out as well with my airbrush. This is my new master's airbrush. I love this thing because it also not only does it spread the inks, but I'm using it as a, a dryer <laughs> instead of having to get a hair dryer out. Adding a little bit more of the red back in here. So just kind of playing and this one is um, full creation mode here. When I first started, I was just kind of playing with uh, the blending solution and I, I got inspired. So now I'm just using one of the uh, watercolor brushes that I have filled with my homemade blending solution. And again, creating that softer look, but you can see where it gives it some nice texture. I'm kind of making little circular motions with this and just spreading this out and softening those edges on this. And there we have it. My finished piece here. 
So I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo. And if you want to try some online alcohol ink classes with me, head over to www.kellychassiefineart.com and make sure you sign up for my email newsletter where I do send out coupons when the class goes live for any new courses and it's usually um, at the best price. And give us a like and a share. We appreciate it and I hope to see you soon.